What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Pisces, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general or support reading for sign of Pisces. This can resonate if you have Pisces in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, being Haven, and Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate. Leave the rest. Free general or full card reading for sign of Pisces. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. Uh, PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. Love you guys. I did receive two channel messages. I was meditating on your energy. I'm going down to weekly uh, readings um, just to let everybody know. The first channel message, um, this can resonate if you have Pisces in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Manhattan, and Jupiter charts. Um, I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node signs for additional message or messages. Thanks, everybody, to my new subscribers. I love and appreciate you guys. Um, if you think anyone else would like the channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Okay? Okay, so the channel message I received was, first one was, your aunt is about to tell you a secret. That was the first one. Your aunt is about to tell you a secret. Um, and the second one, second one, I heard retirement. So, your aunt is about to tell you a secret. I feel it's a Pisces. They're about to tell a secret to. And retirement could be, I feel it could be you or somebody you're connected to is about to retire. Um, that's wonderful. I wish I could retire. <laughs> it's hard to retire when you keep getting wrongfully terminated four times in the universe, and that's just the truth. Uh, but some kind of retirement, whether you're retiring or somebody you're connected to is, uh, you plug it in how it resonates, Pisces, okay? Fever, vulture. For some, you could be dealing with the earth sign or fire sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Haven, Jupiter charts. Because we have the Earth side energy and the Fire side energy. Read sorrow over a loss, change, chain of events that will affect your life. And you have Earth side energy and Fire side energy. Read sorrow over a loss. A third party is about to be exposed very publicly. It's going to end a sexual connection. For one, you're about to expose this. For one, you're about to be exposed. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. A third party um, sexual relationship is about to be exposed. For some, you are about to expose this third party sexual relationship. For some, um, you are about to be exposed. So, 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 so I can speak. Sorrow over a loss in this aspect is basically loss of the third party karmic sexual relationship. Um, but for some, you're going to help expose it. Bring it out to the light. Bring it up to the forefront. Expose it. Um, I don't think you believe in third parties or sneaky links or situationships or what have you. What have you for some. For some, um, you are the one that's going to be exposed. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. So sorrow in this aspect is the one karmic energy, karmic Pisces that is about to be exposed. But for one of you guys, I think you're divine beings and you're about to help ex this, uh, expose it. I hope that resonates.
For one, there's about to be raiding of lockers at a workplace. For one, you're going to help raid these lockers. For one, your locker will be raided. Oh my God. Whoa. I've had lockers uh, when I worked at the hospitals. I had, I had lockers. Well, I didn't have a locker. At the, well, I did have a locker at the second one. I did. I had lockers at both hospitals. Uh, well, I mean, yikes. <laughs> I think somebody's going to find something in somebody's locker. Uh, if you're the karmic Pisces. <clears throat> only you know if you're hiding something in your locker at work or not for one you're going to help raid them so i feel you could be security you could be a manager boss ceo or supervisor um or something of that nature um whoever you are about to help raid them for one yours is going to be raided now do you have anything to hide or do you not but somebody does sorrow over a loss uh, for one, drugs will be found. For Oh, my God. For one, drugs will be found. Yikes. Um, so if drugs are found, I'm sure you'll be fired. Um, but in all fairness, whoever that's for, you deserve it. Um, like I said, I've been wrongfully terminated four times in the universe. No drugs, no alcohol, no theft, no misappropriation of funds or any crazy fraud or crazy shit. If you, if you, find, if you have drugs in your locker, you deserve it. And that's just the truth. Um, you, especially at work. I mean, dear God. Chain, chain of events that will affect your life. For one, a significant sound system is about to disappear. For one, a significant sound system is about to disappear. So for one of you guys, a significant sound system is about to disappear. So I'm thinking that might be theft. Theft, some kind of sound system. Um, about to disappear. Yikes. That's terrible. Okay. We're getting out of that energy. Oh, my Lord. Chain, chain events that will affect your life. Life-altering events are about to happen to a Pisces very soon. For some, they're going to be very positive. For some, they're going to be very negative. For some, you're saving up money to move physical areas for um, some cities, some states. Okay, life-altering events are about to occur in your life. I've had a lot of moving in Pisces energies uh, recently, a lot. Um, some of you guys, you're going to move cities. Some of you are going to move states. I heard you've been saving up. So life-altering events, I think you might be putting a down payment on an apartment or a condo or a duplex or a home. Um or getting finance for something, however that resonates and applies, um, that's positive life-altering events. Um, it's kind of like when I bought this house five years ago. Um, I put a down payment down, 10% down. I was very excited about moving my, me and my kids out here. Um, new life, new energy. I was excited. Um, and that's just the truth. But um, I feel you might be excited for for the ones positive. Now, our negative, something, ne it's either the life altering in the negative aspect or the positive. I feel the moving is going to be positive because I heard you've been saving up to move. So you've really been penny pinching, really been saving up, and you are focused on a goal. And I don't blame you. I mean, as soon as I can, I am too. So I don't blame you. A Pisces is about to reveal very informa uh, important information on the star that has been intentionally hidden. It's going to positively uh, help this Pisces and this star. A Pisces is about to reveal information on a star that has intentionally been hidden. So some kind of star energy that's intentionally been hidden. You, Pisces, you're about to reveal this information. Heard it's going to go very positively for you and the star. So you plug it in how it resonates, Pisces. Those are positive series of chain events. Um, how that resonates and applies, ma'am or sir. You can be a mask or a fem. For some, you're going to find out soon about your father's secret child. For some, your lovers. 
For soon, soon, some of you guys are going to find out about your uh, lover's secret child. For some, your father's secret child. So, secret child energy, series of time events that will affect your life, either your father's secret child or your lover's. Um, it hasn't happened yet. Soon, it sounds like it's upcoming. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Fever. A very ungrounded, unstable, unreliable, undependable earth sign is about to leave your life. For some, you want this to happen. For some, you don't. For some, it's your son. For some, it's your lover. For some, it's your neighbor. Some, they're on a ball team. Okay. A very unstable, ungrounded, unreliable, undependable earth sign is about to leave your life. For some, you want this to happen. For some, you don't. For some, it's your lover. For some, it's your neighbor. For some, it's your... Who was it? Lover, neighbor? Some Somebody on a ball team. I feel this could be a parent or a player. Um, and then there was another one. Whoever the other one was. You have to plug it in. How it resonates. Uh, for some, you want this earth sign to leave. For some, you don't. So... Um, you plug it in how it resonates. For some, I feel this could be third-party karmic energy because I was pulling in heavy earth sign, karmic, earth sign masculine karmic energy in Pisces, uh, possibly. But um, uh, you plug, I mean, um, yeah, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I'm sorry, this is Pisces. Um, I was pulling it in in, um, who was it I was doing? Um, some other sign. It was some other sign, but you plug in how it resonates, Pisces. For some, you want them to leave your life. For some, you don't. I think it was Scorpios. I was pulling it in or something. Vulture. Beware, there's a huge energy succubus around you. Okay, I heard beware, there's a huge energy succubus around you. Um, you plug in and how it resonates. You're very light side. They are dark side. Ooh. So for one of you guys, you're very light side. Light side energy. Um, people love the light side energy. Um, they gravitate towards it. They love the light side energy. Um, you are light side energy, whoever you are, Pisces. A masculine or femme. Um, you've got a very heavy, negative, karmic, dark side energy. I feel they perform dark arts, or they did. Um, but they love to suck your energy. How that resonates and applies Pisces. For some, it could be a fire sign. For some, it could be any other sign taking on the vulture energy. Vultures, um, they prey off of dead carcasses. Um, so... I feel that's relative to like energy sucking off of a light side being, like sucking the life force out of somebody, um, feeding off something that's not theirs. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, yikes. Um, whoever this is for and how this applies. For some, it could be a fire sign. For some, it could be any other sign. I didn't hear. Um, but I heard beware. So hopefully, um, I, you know, I do protection spells, evil eye spells, and I would just, um, protect my energy and uh, my time and definitely my money. I didn't hear they were selling your money, but they're definitely uh, selling your energy, whoever you are, light side Pisces.
There is about to be a hidden object found in a garden soon. There's about to be a hidden object found in a garden soon. So you plug in how resonates Pisces, some kind of hidden object found in a garden. Maybe a fire sign's about to find this uh, hidden object, or it's a fire sign's garden, or or how that resonates. Um, some kind of hidden object found in a garden soon. That's going to be a series of chain of events that will affect one's life. I didn't hear what the hidden object was. And a necklace that was given to a Pisces, it has a dark entity attachment to it. You're about to feel very drained. Once this happens, it'd be very smart to smash the, the necklace. It was given to you to suck your energy. Given to you by someone you thought was a friend. Oh my God, Pisces. Yikes. So one of you guys, you were given a necklace um, from a friend. But they're really a friend of me. And they're a dark side friend of me. You have vulture energy. It could be a fire sign or any other sign. I didn't hear a sign on them. But they gave it to you. It has a dark entity attached to it. So that might be how one of you guys, your energy is being sucked. Is by this necklace uh, with a dark entity attachment to it. This Whoever this is, they're very skilled in dark arts. They know what the hell they were doing. Um, for some, it could be a fire sign that gave it to you. For some, it could be any other sign taking on the bulk for energy. But, I mean, I heard it'd be smart to smack. Once you start feeling so energy drained, so fatigued, so tired, basically, fatigue and tired are the same thing, it'd be smart to identify that the necklace is the thing draining your energy and to smash it. I heard once you smash it, you're going to break the curse. Breaking the curse. It's about to shock the hell out of them. Breaking the curse, it's going to shock the hell out of them. So it's going to break the curse and shock the hell out of them. But once you identify, now there's 13,900 of you guys on here, or almost 13,900. So you have to identify, use your own best logic, reason, and intuition if it's you. I don't know if it's you, okay? I'm just a messenger. Please don't shoot the messenger. But it's some kind of necklace. It was given to you as somebody that claims that you're a friend. I'll tell you that. Um, a feminine energy. A fem energy. So a fem energy gave it to you. And um, an air sign. An air sign. And a fire sign for one. Okay, so a fire sign for one of you guys gave it to you. Aries Leo Sag and for one. an uh, air sign. Gemini Libra Aquarius. They could have Aries Leo Sag or Gemini Libra Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, haven, Jupiter charts. But how that resonates, I heard once you identify it, it's a necklace. Um, it was given to you. You did not pay for it. It was given to you as a gift by your frenemy. But once you identify it and you realize that it's draining your energy, sucking your energy, I heard it be smart to smash it. Once you smash it, it sounds like it's going to break the curse and it's going to create a series of chain of events to break the curse. How that resonates and applies, okay? A fake pastor, very fake pastor, is about to go to um, go to jail soon. They will not get out. They will end up in prison. A pedophile. Oh, God. A fake pastor, uh, pedophile, is about to go to jail soon. Um, I heard they will end up in prison. Um, so, series of time events that will affect your life. For some, you... This person could be a, could have been a leader in your religious organization, or you could have went to somebody's church where this person was a leader of the religious organization, or you just know about this person through the grapevine. Whoever this religious leader is, it's a masculine energy. Masculine energy. It's a masculine energy. It's a masculine energy. Um, for one, he's very famous worldwide. For one, he is famous in your city. For one, he is famous worldwide. For one, he's famous in your city. Um, but he's a pedophile. So it sounds like he's about to be exposed soon for pedophilia. One, he's very famous worldwide. One, he's very famous in your city. So you plug it in how it resonates. Pisces, dear God. For some, it could be an earth sign pastor, masculine pastor, or a fire sign masculine pastor. 
They can have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. That could be the sorrow over loss, too. I feel for some, he could have been your pastor or your religious leader or what have you, what have you. Um, however, that resonates and applies, okay? Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, this was the most random message I think I've ever heard in my life, but uh, apparently it's significant to somebody. I heard mashed potatoes and gravy. Then I heard gravy train. You can't make this crap out if you wanted to. Mashed potatoes and gravy and gravy train. Now, gravy train could actually be, you know, gravy and then gravy boat, gravy train, or the gravy train, um, metaphorically. So you plug it in how it resonates. Mashed potatoes and gravy, obviously, we know what mashed potatoes and gravy is, especially if you live in the South. That's just the truth. So mashed potatoes and gravy and the gravy train, you plug it in how it resonates, Pisces. Just saying, just saying. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. Letter M, letter K, letter P, letter T, letter M, P, K, T, O, and B. O and B and A. O, B and A. So that could be your first, middle, or last initial, nickname initial, or somebody you're connected to's first, middle, last initial, or a nickname initial. A lot of them, you can go back and check them if you need to hear them again. You plug it in, how it resonates. I love you guys. Hope this helped. And I'm going to say.